Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 273. Left Heart Failure. What is the reason for pulmonary edema as well as paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea to happen in a patient with left-sided heart failure? The reason this would happen is because in left-sided heart failure, there would be an increase in pulmonary venous pressure. So the blood that's coming to the heart from the lungs, there would be an increase in pressure in that blood. Now because of this, this would lead to a pulmonary venous distension and because of this, it leads to a transudation of fluid. And all this fluid backs up into the lungs and therefore you would have pulmonary edema and paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. What are some of the cells that you would also find in the lungs in a patient with left-sided heart failure? In a patient with left-sided heart failure, you would find hemosiderin, latent macrophages, which are known as the heart failure cells, and these would be present in the lungs. Why does orthopnea happen in left-sided heart failure? In left-sided heart failure, the reason you would have orthopnea is because there would be an increasing venous return and supine position, which would exacerbate pulmonary vascular congestion. What is orthopnea? Orthopnea is a condition when there is a shortness of breath when a person is in supine position, so they could only breathe comfortably when they are standing or sitting erect. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.